What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my King's Fall challenge mode loot from this week on all three of my characters. This week's challenge was the Oryx challenge, the last one out of the three challenge fights and it was definitely the hardest one out of the three just because Oryx is the hardest fight in the raid in general but it definitely forced fire teams to play a little bit differently just because a lot of teams like to utilize the no night strategy for Oryx on hard mode. So the challenge for this fight was to defeat the Shade of Oryx, the guy that you get teleported into his realm um, to fight him and he has his sword and he tries to slam you. You have to defeat that guy three times I believe before you defeat the real Oryx, the big one in the general part of the fight. So in order to do that you need to not corrupt the orbs of light or the corrupted light or whatever they're called and you have to wait till the fourth round when you have all 16 bombs ready and that's when you detonate it to clear all his health and do it in a single blow on Oryx. So that's how you complete the fight for this week. Not that much different from doing it regular. But let's get into my rewards for the week. Starting off on my first character on my Warlock, you are guaranteed to get the ship and the Calcified Fragment as well as the Emblem for defeating him on hard mode. As for my loot, we ended up getting a Ghost Shell, some Moldering Shards, a Normal Mode chest piece, and I got my 320, which was a primary. So I got a Harrowed Smite of Moraine at 320. I got the 310 Scout Rifle. We ended up getting a Thunderlord as well. And my Ghost Shell was at 320 as well, which is pretty ridiculous because I needed a Ghost Shell. So that was really exciting when I saw that as well. And of course, we got the 320 and 310 artifact along with it. So. Pretty great drops on that. I got a 320 Ghost Shell, which was very, very lucky. I really needed that to increase my light level. That was one thing that I was lacking on all my characters. So now I got one, as well as the 320 primary. So that was pretty good. Moving on to my next character on my Hunter. We got the usual stuff, the 50th Calcified Fragment, the Emblem, and the Ship again. From my actual loot, we got a Graviton Forfeit Exotic Helmet. We got a Hard Mode Helmet, some Hard Mode Boots. I got another 320 primary, this time it was the auto rifle I believe. We got the usual artifact 320 and 310 and my 310 item from challenge mode was a normal mode helmet I believe. So I got a hard mode helmet on that one but it was just from the regular drop. It came in at 311. Not the greatest but at least I got a helmet out of it since I've never gotten a hard mode helmet on all my characters before. So that was actually the first one. And now I can unlock that one shader that you can get if you have all armor pieces for each uh, slot. So that's pretty good. Finally, for my last character on my Titan, we ended up getting the usual stuff. The Emblem, Calcified Fragment, and the Ship. For my actual loot, we ended up getting the 320 Artifact, 310 Artifact like usual as well. We also got some primaries again. So another 320 primary, a 310 primary. That was my challenge mode loot. We also got a normal mode helmet, a normal mode gauntlets, and I got a hard mode boots at 319, which was pretty good as well. So that was pretty cool. That's what I ended up getting on my last character. That's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. It was pretty rewarding of a week as it always is from challenge mode. Can't wait to play a more challenge mode so I can get closer to 320. It's a slow process, but we're getting there. So that's about it once again. Thank you guys for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!